Sure is some nice weather out today. I do declare it is, even though it is nice out. I want to hurry home and catch the new popular opinion video. Ever since you've been taking those ventriloquist classes, I can't even see your mouth move, Miss Daisy. But that boy Cody sure does some cool videos. I wonder what he's up to today. I think he's opening up a mystery box from the Grail Gurus. I sure love seeing what all he gets. You know, rumor has it he is the undisputed champion of unboxing videos. I think I'll take a gander at today's video with you as well, Miss Daisy. If I was about 30 years younger, I'd let him take me to Old Space Mountain. Now calm down, Miss Daisy. I don't want to have to take you back to the doctor again like we did last time. Here, now take your blood pressure medicine. I can't have you getting too excited now. You're right. I just get so excited when I see him. I guess there's just one thing left to do. That's right, Miss Daisy. Sounds like the only thing left to do is for us to get started right now. What's up everybody, it's Cody from Popular Opinion. Of course I am the green screen machine. And thanks to all you guys, the channel's future's so bright, we gotta wear shades. And guess what? I got a grill today. So welcome back everybody. Today I got a special episode for you. They're all special, let's be honest. But I've got a mystery box today for my friends at the Grill Guru. Now I'm saying I got a grill, we're gonna get to that. The reason I think I got a grill today is because I can tell it's in a hard stack. I got a mystery box from the Grail Guru, and with the magic of editing, I'm going to put a picture up of the top hits. So, what were some of the top hits? Man, this is a good box. So, some of the top hits were, <clears throat> we had the Joker 2-pack that glowed in the dark from Gemini Collectibles. We had an old, old uh, Leatherface uh, Chase Pop. We had the ECCC flocked Bigfoot. They only made 3,000 pieces of that one. <clears throat> then, of course, you had the Invisible Man, Chase. We had Bone Daddy, T-Bone from ECCC, Figment from Disney Parks. And then the one I'm hoping I get is Freddy Funko as Doctor Strange. <clears throat> now, at the beginning of the video, I told you I had a grill. And how do I know I got a grill? Well... I shake this box up. There's a hard stack in here. And I might be coming back as the undisputed champion of unboxing videos. I've had a great month of February already. I've already pulled Booberry. I've already pulled a Chase Michael Myers. It's been a great month. And I think we might have a third grail hit for the month of February too. So when you look at this picture, <clears throat> there's three things in hard stacks. We've got the leather face in a hard stack. Bigfoot's in a hard stack, and Freddy Funko as Doctor Strange is in a hard stack. Now, unless they're just trying to throw me a curveball and put a common in a hard stack, it's got to be one of those three. So I'm excited. It can't be the Joker because it's too big for the size of the box. It's got to be one of those three. So which one is it? I haven't opened it up. I've been waiting to do this video. I got this in yesterday. I literally worked 12 hours a day and came to film an episode. I was so excited to see what was in this box. So, <clears throat> honestly, if I get, um, I'd rather get the Leatherface Chase or the Freddy Funko as Doctor Strange. I'm not huge in the Bigfoot, but it'd still be a cool one to have, but I probably really would trade it if I got the Bigfoot. So, if I pull Bigfoot out and you want it and you're watching the video, <clears throat> hit me up on Instagram. You know my Instagram's always in the bottom corner. And let me know what you'd want to trade for. And maybe we can work a trade out. But if it is Freddy Funko as Doctor Strange, then I will keep that one. Or if it is Leatherface, I'm keeping that. So, of course, you always get the Grail Guru stickers. Come in every box. So just to make sure, it's definitely, so you guys can hear it. Hold on, be quiet. Let's hear this. That's the sound of a top hit, and I know what a top hit sounds like. So, we got a top hit in this one. I'm excited. 
Can I get a drum roll? Can I get a drum roll? Let's go. Let's... All right, here we go. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Bam, curveball. Like and subscribe. All right, here we go. I don't know what the front of it is. I'm not sure what the front is. Wow. Oh, we got Bigfoot. We got Bigfoot. All right, so still cool. Man, they got a super uh, nice uh, protector case for this uh, Bigfoot pop. So I'm going to turn around the different sides so you guys see how cool is that? 3,000 pieces. That's all they made of this. We'll take it out of here. They sent a nice uh, protector for this pop. We'll show you. It is a it is a, a high dollar pop, and I'll show you some values at the end too. But this is a this is a thick uh, protector. I haven't seen. I've never seen one like this. Um, oh, that is actually I believe the new pop shield protector. It's got the magnetic lid. So if you guys see that, that's a cool. That's the new ones they just came out with. So really nice. So just to show you the pop itself, I'm just looking at damage. You know, there's not really. I mean, it looks like it's in pretty mint condition, honestly, guys. So <clears throat> take it out just so you guys can see it. All right, turn it around. It is 3,000 pieces. It's got the Emerald City Comic-Con sticker on the front. Pretty cool pop. So I say just so you guys can get a good, good look at it. I'm going to put it back in the case after this. So pretty cool. But I say I don't have – this will be the first – pop I've gotten that actually has the real Emerald City uh, Comic Con exclusive sticker on it. Most of the ones I've gotten were the shared stickers. Before this one, my favorite ECC, C, E, Triple C, there's a lot of C's. E, Triple C pop was the uh, Captain America, I think the World War II pop. I'll put a picture up of it so you can see it. That was my favorite one uh, before this pop. Uh, so this will probably be my favorite. I might still end up trading this um, so if you guys collect the myths, are you like, are you interested in the Bigfoot? Hit me up on Instagram. Um, maybe we can work out a trade because I don't think I'm going to plan on keeping this. But I do want to show you guys this protector real quick since I know it's the ones with the magnetic lids now. It's probably hard to see it in the video, but you can see the kind of like the magnets across the top of the pop. And these are like, I've seen those people do these in videos. So I'm going to show you like, you can shake these things. It's, it's not coming out. Okay, it came out finally. <laughs> but you guys see how hard I had to shake it. I mean, look, I mean, like, that's, that's crazy. Got snaps, like, I mean, it's, you can go. It's, it's good. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I do like that one. Like I said, it's, it's not a line I, you know, I really collect. I don't really collect the Miss line um, for Bigfoot. So, what did you guys think? It's great to have a top hit. We'll check out some of the values. We'll be right back. Let's see how well I did. So welcome back, everybody. So I looked it up. The boxes, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. The boxes were 55 bucks shipped. There were only 50 boxes in this run. But uh, the Bigfoot flock is actually worth 185 bucks. So great, great hit we got out of this box. Super happy with that. What do you guys think of the hit? Pretty good hit, right? Got a great month of February going. Three hits, um, almost worth about 150 or more each of the three hits I've gotten in February. So solid month. Hopefully that'll continue in March. Let me know what you guys thought about what I pulled out in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe for me. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next video.